what's up everybody just wanted to let you know what this update's all about just giving you the most up-to-date information possible regarding this line fire in the san bernardino national forest <clears throat> and uh yeah we're just gonna take a couple different views of it where it is the most visible in the big bear valley so uh yeah we'll hope you enjoy the video i think it's a lot better news than we've been able to give you so please enjoy what is up you guys i believe it's the third of october 2024 in big bear california we got the chopper here and where is he going where's that guy going so i'm going to show you where we have uh some smoke coming up and then give you the update on what is going on with our fire here just lock my car because i'm parking it on the street there oh watch out lizard okay so you can see a little more smoke today it's not crazy and it's it's a really light colored smoke i don't know if you guys can see that straight ahead There's a little bit of smoke rising from over there. Yeah, again, guys, welcome back. I'm really hopeful we're getting closer to the end of this thing, or at least headed in that right direction. So let me tell you guys what the information is, is telling us right now. Hang on a second. So the most recent information is yesterday firefighters made great progress on the line fire overcoming high heat and steep terrain to keep the fire in its current footprint. Night flying helicopters are being utilized to extinguish heat both along the fire perimeter as well as extinguishing burning fuels in the interior. Today crews will continue to monitor and patrol along Highway 330 corridor on the western flank of the fire. Fire crews have been inserted to go direct along the fire's edge with the assistance of water dropping helicopters along Siberia Creek. On the eastern flank of the fire, firefighters will continue to mop up, strengthen, and improve containment lines. They are so awesome. They are so awesome. We're still at 79% containment. 43,922 acres have been burned. And still mandatory evacuations for Angeles Oaks and Seven Oaks. And the other evacuation warnings are still Boulder Bay, west of the dam, east or from the dam east to Wild Rose Lane, uh, Moon Ridge, Sugarloaf, and South Irwin. Highway 38 is closed from Forest Falls to Lakewood Drive in Lake Williams. And 330 is closed both directions. So coming up here. The only way to get up here right now, you guys, is to come up on Highway 18, from uh, which turns into Waterman Avenue down there in San Bernardino, or drive around the mountain range and come back up here on the backside of Highway 18 through Lucerne Valley. This is the most up-to-date information we can get. Um, pretty cool, we caught the helicopter at the beginning of the video. But yeah, I mean, what an absolutely gorgeous day. Look how beautiful this place is. I really wish those of you from far away would have a chance to come up here and visit and just enjoy this. I mean, this is just it's as beautiful as it gets. It really is. So we're going to go check out one more spot, another one of my favorite areas to view this stuff. And right now, as we're speaking, uh, because of wind, it looks like the smoke's blowing kind of down that slope a little bit. It looks like a creepy fog rolling down. But yeah. As always, I just want to make sure that I thank the firefighters, everyone involved in this whole nightmare. Thank you guys for everything. Um, I mean, it, I, I just can't imagine how much effort is truly put into this. Um, I admire you a lot. You, you are strength personified. We're very, very lucky that there are people like that on, on planet Earth. Because if, if it was up to me, to put out the fire there there'd be no more wilderness you know because uh because i'm just yeah i'm i don't know i'm behind the camera not behind the fire let's let's put it that way so hang on a second 
All right, so we're gonna go check out the other view real quickly, a little bit closer, and I'll see you guys in a second. This is gonna be the view from Stanfield Cutoff, and then we're going to the final view. There's nowhere to park, so we're just gonna do the sunroof action. going on there except for just a really beautiful view and as I said it's a very light colored smoke it's a great sign if you guys remember a few days ago it was devastating looking that smoke started getting super dark and thick and taking over the town again so my gosh these firefighters are insane all these people flying these helicopters and planes and getting super low and just pulling off some top gun maneuvers out there. It's pretty awesome. So anyway, we're going to the last spot right now. I thought we would just show you guys some of these fall colors coming in. Just beautiful, look at that. Oh man, this place is gonna be super, super beautiful even more than it already is soon. But yeah, once again, <laughs> Through the camera, you can't really see that much going on over there. With my own eyes, I can see it pretty good, pretty well. But you can't really tell through the camera. And again, that's a, that's a great sign. Even though this was the situation about a week or so ago, where you couldn't see much smoke and everyone just <clears throat> stopped thinking about the fires, or at least all the residents for the most part and people like me I was like oh these these guys got this thing knocked out we're good and then boom so you just never know you just never know all right you guys again another lackluster update in terms of uh, footage so <laughs> so that's absolutely awesome we don't want to see destruction. We don't want to see horror out there. So this is a wonderful situation with our beautiful blue skies. Oh, it's just spectacular. All right, you guys, thank you for everything. Please take care. Have a great rest of your day. And uh, I have a feeling these updates will be coming to an end very soon. Love you all, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.